Oyagala mukuru ku gwenja olugo berene bijukize mu nyumba yo kan kwanjulire backing montage photo studio fiba kafuru mu kube bifananyi no kola video oli na wedding birthday party kuchala nika baby shower photo shoot or music shoot na buli kimu kyo nacho oyagala fetu subulu kuwe bijukize birungi eri biroto byo ate no mwana watu kusinte zo mtu wa buli jo tusange bana nkula bikubitala ku prime tower level 3 room d04 okumanya bisingawo tukubira ku namba zino note musavu note biri emu note nya emu biri tano Oba, noti musavu tanu tanu, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nya noti tanu. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sobolo kuwe bijukize bironji, atinu mwana watu kusinti izo mtu wabuli jo. Hello friends, welcome back to Love Media where we spread love. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we gonna look at Douglas Luwanga. Who is Douglas Luwanga? Love Media looks at his biography, early life, education, and family of the Purple Party proprietor. Douglas Luwanga is one of the Ugandan most celebrated television personalities, TV host, radio presenter, graphics animator, event organizer, digital influencer, husband, and a father. Luwanga became a household name on the Uganda television scene after creating a daily live music show on Record TV Uganda called Katago. He currently hosts a musical show called NBS After 5 on the Kamwakya-based station, NBS Television having a unique touch in interviewing celebrities. Douglas Luwanga was born on May 1, 1984 in Antebi Wakaso district, Uganda to Robin Akitendela, mother, and Sam Muzok, rip. Douglas Luwanga attended St. Lawrence schools and colleges for his O and A level school. From St. Lawrence, Luwanga joined Make Rare University where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communication. In the early 2000s, Douglas Luwanga continued to nurture his passion for music and started a dance group called The Exclusives. The group used to mimic dance acts of former boys band singing groups NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. Despite becoming a television star and producer, Luwanga has had a presence in radio. While at Make Rare University in his final year, Douglas Luwanga joined Campus Radio and that's how he ignited his passion for radio. In 2008, Luwanga Douglas joined Record Television Uganda as a TV producer. He was able to excel in television and 2010 he decided to challenge himself and he started a daily music TV show called Katago on Record Television, that later became a household name. Then in 2013, Luwanga signed a deal with Africa Broadcasting under Nation Media Group, NTV, to host a daily music show called The Beat. This show has hosted a wide range of both local and international artists. Among the international guest list on his show includes Divido, Elaine, Conscience, Wizkid, Busy Signal, D. Banjay, Diamond Platinums, Tiwa Savage, Mafiki Zolo, Sodi Soul, Yemi Alad, among others. From NTV, Douglas Luwanga joined NBS, a Kamwakya-based TV station in 2018 where he currently hosts music show titled NBS After 5 from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. and Countdown Show on Next Radio from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. also under NXT Media Services. Luwanga produces TV content that he does distribute on Chano 8 Digital Magazine, an online magazine as well as Face Television Channel. He is now creating a syndicated radio show that he has called the UG20 Countdown airing soon on various radio stations. In 2011, Luwanga joined 97.7 Record Radio while working on television at the same time. Luwanga is also a graphics designer. He now produces TV commercials ranging from products, concerts, and various artworks that have aired on most television channels in Uganda. He as well does acting, he says he has featured in some stage performances. However, Luwanga doesn't like and hates being called a celebrity. I think it all goes back to one's background and uplifting the people that we see acting arrogant because they are celebrities is not because the fame got to their heads, but it is because they are raised in a certain kind of way for me, I want to always be a simple man and that is why I even use my real name because fame cannot change me. Luwanga chose media work because he wanted a job where he could be able to dress casually, go to the office for work, he entirely hated formal dress code. 
During my S6 vacation, I was chatting with my friends and I asked them which course I could study at university but still dress up casually and go to the office and they told me it was mass communication that is what I opted for. His first time on TV was not easy at all, it was on record TV, in his narration, many people bashed at him, they said he was blunt and did not deserve to be on air. They judged the way he presented and dressed, and on numerous occasions, even some people would call in and abuse him. Luwanga says there were even certain radio presenters who spent their entire shows abusing him, but luckily the same people who used to abuse him then, are the ones praising me today. The fact that I work on television defines my style. I remember one day while I was still on record TV, a certain lady called in and abused the jacket I was putting on, live on air, yet I thought it was very nice. Since that day, I learned that television is beyond what you are telling the people but also how you look. Regarding his work that's moving from station to another, Luwanga says he ever looks out for new avenues and opportunities in his career. Well, one needs to grow. When you stay in one place for a very long time, you become stagnant and unchallenged, but when you move to somewhere new, it helps you think a little harder and start something new. It is not always easy because you have a fan base used to you being on a certain channel at a particular time, but I have been lucky that wherever I have moved, my shows have been in the same time frame, which has made my audience not to be affected. Luwanga says wherever he has been, he learns a new thing in his career. Record TV introduced him to the cameras and taught him confidence, and TV taught him professionalism and NBS is teaching him diversity. Comparing radio and TV work, Luwanga says radio is easy because people are not seeing you while TV is very hectic, because people judge how you look and dress. Nevertheless, Luwanga warns that when you are a presenter, you don't need to take sides to keep both your audience and fans. I started television when the entertainment industry had a lot of wrangles especially among the big three, Chameleon, BB Cool and Bobby Wine, and TV presenters at the time had already taken sides. I figured that when you are working in the media, you speak to a mass audience with different tastes and preferences so when you the presenter take a side, you are going to exclude a certain section of your fan base. Douglas Luwanga is the proprietor of the annual Purple Party event that brings together Ugandans entertainers and their fans uniting them in a single end-of-year party. The event attracts a huge number of music lovers and is graced with non-stop live stage performances all night long. Douglas Luwanga is the proprietor of the annual Purple Party event. The first segment of the event was held on December 22, in 2011 and now holds countrywide tours. NBS Douglas Luwanga is currently the brand ambassador for Champion Bet appointed by gaming company, Champion Bet Uganda. Champion Bet is licensed and regulated by the Uganda National Gaming Board as an online betting majoring in sports alongside their leading online casino. Luwanga said he joined Champion Bet to add on what it has built. I will be headlining activations, charity activities, and CRC campaigns countrywide to make sure that people understand the brand even more. I am still working with Next Media and I will continue to present the NBS After 5 show and working at NXT Media. The ambassadorial deal has no time limit until both parties agree to terminate it. Awards and Recognition Diva Award as the Best Diva TV Host 2011 Best TV Entertainment Host at the 2013 Radio and TV Academy Awards Uganda Best Dressed Male Media Personality of the Year at the Abrian Style and Fashion Awards 2014 Best Youth TV Host at the Kadenki Youth Awards 2014 Best Male TV Personality Uganda Entertainment Awards 2016 Luwanga's Favorite TV Presenters Calvin the Entertainer a UBC Music Presenter MC Katz, Luwanga's Co-Presenter at NBS TV Douglas Luwanga, Family Douglas Luwanga got married in December 2010 at the age of 25 to Eunice Nwamanya 24 and the two have a son, but then separated few years into their marriage. Douglas Luwanga and Linda Lisa two children. Douglas Luwanga and Linda Lisa have two children together.
Luwanga says he decided to tie a knot at an early age because he felt it was the appropriate time to settle down. After their separation in 2016, Luwanga entered another relationship with Linda Lisa, the public relations officer of Club Governor who he lives with today. Luwanga and Linda Lisa have two children, all together Luwanga is a father of three. As a parent, Luwanga says he has come to understand the kind of sacrifices his parents made while raising him. What he's going through as a parent now, is what they went through as well and he has appreciated that parents are such a blessing from God. He, however, advised young married couples to look and seek for help but know that at the end of the day, it is about you and the person with whom you share a roof. It is not bad to ask for help from friends and relatives, but do not make decisions basing on whatever they tell you to do everything has to be between you and your partner you should not base your relationship on other people's views. Luwanga's Normal Day Luwanga wakes up at about 10 a.m., says his prayers, have breakfast, and at around midday he goes to NBS and does some work with next events up to 4 p.m. Then from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., he's on TV doing his evening show after 5. From there, Luwanga turns to NXT Radio where he presents the countdown show up to 8 p.m. After, he goes home. Luwanga returns home early because he's not an outgoing person, he doesn't like hanging out in a bar or any other amusement place. I rarely go out even had a conversation about it with my boss recently. I am an introvert, I like being indoors. Likes and preferences Luwanga likes watching movies. Going to the beach, though once in a blue moon, I would rather go to the beach than to the bar. Wearing jeans, t-shirts, and converse, he owns formal outfits but truth is, he never put them on. Favorite musicians John Black Spice Diana Fef Bus, he finds his freestyling very creative. However, Luwanga doesn't listen to music outside work, he enjoys shows more. On the issue of artists joining politics, Luwanga says, I think it is necessary because artists used to be blind and not mind what was happening in the country. I think it is important for entertainers to keep track of policies in the country. Controversies Earlier, rumors had it that Luwanga the famous NBS After 5 presenter is planning to quit the station over unestablished reasons. He refuted the claims, regarding it fake news. I am not quitting NBS and Next Media Services, that's fake news. It's probably because those spreading rumors have their data they have mob MBs and have nothing to do with it. I am still working with Next Media and I will continue to present the NBS After 5 show and working at NXT Media. He urged his fans and followers to disregard any information of him quitting NBS via his Twitter handle. Thanks for watching Love Media catch you next time. Oyagala mukuru ku gwenja olugobere ne bijukize mu nyumba yo kan kwanjulire Backing Montage Photo Studio fiba kafuru mukube bifananyi nokola video oli na wedding birthday party kuchala nika baby shower photo shoot or music shoot na buli kimu kyo nacho oyagala fetu subulo kuwe bijukize ebirungi eri ebiroto byo ati no mwana watu kusinti zo mtu wa buli jo tusange bonna nkula bikubitala ku Prime Tower Level 3 Room D04 okumanya bisingawo tukubira ku namba zino note musavu note 2 emu note nya emu 25 Oba, noti musavu tanu tanu, satu emu emu, musavu satu emu, oba, noti musavu musavu musavu, noti bili satu, nya noti tanu. King Montage Photo Studio, fitu sobolo kuwe bijukize bironji, ate nomwana watu kusinti zomu tuwabuli jo.